You guys know that I've been covering XRP more on my channel. Um, XRP is absolutely one of my favorite cryptos, cryptos out there. And uh, again, in my opinion, unlawfully, um, uh, you know, unlawfully uh, uh, sued by the SEC. Uh, all that, we know all that. But this is an interesting scenario. I thought this was interesting. So a former Coinbase executive gives, quote, an unusual indication in Ripple SEC lawsuit. Now, there's some interesting things in here. There's really two sides of the coin on this, okay? So a uh, former Coinbase uh, board member, Tom uh, Lavero, gives a, quote, unusual indication on the Ripple SEC lawsuit, referring to the statement made by Ripple CEO uh, on leaving the U.S. If, if it loses its case against the SEC. Okay, so uh, the Ripple CEO, uh, Brad Garlinghouse, basically gave an interview uh, in, in Toronto that if Ripple loses the lawsuit, that it would consider leaving the U.S. All right, so the lawsuit filed uh, was filed in December of 2020, over two years ago, right? Alleges that Ripple and its defendants illegally used XRP as an unregistered security to raise $1.3 billion. That's the basis of the lawsuit. Now, this was interesting. When I was reading this, I was like, Ripple's acting as if it had already lost. And so this this this, uh, this Coinbase, a former Coinbase executive was talking about, you know, he was referring to Brad, the Ripple CEO, Brad's interview. And he was referring to the fact that it feels like they, it feels like they being Ripple already feel like they've lost, which is really interesting to me because I kind of expected and what I'm hearing from my sources is that no, they're actually doing pretty well and that the that it was kind of a it's really going to go ultimately in ripples in ripples direction so the ceo of ripple said uh, he also cited a delay in the case saying quote justice delayed was justice denied and that may be the comment that people are are uh, you know kind of alluding to the fact that brad the ceo of ripple is talking about hey because the the case was delayed it was justice denied now you know, whether you believe that or not, uh, you know, it's interesting. But then it goes on to talk about in this article in March, Fox reporter Eleanor Terrett wrote in a tweet, quote, a source close to the SET, SEC tells me that Hester Pierce has expressed privately she thinks that the SEC will not get the outcome it's looking for in the Ripple case. If you don't know who Hester is, that's the SEC commissioner Hester Pierce has continuously voiced concerns over the SEC's approach to digital assets many times, once stating that the, quote, commission has refused, despite many pleas over many years, to provide regulatory guidance about how our rules apply to crypto assets. So she is a commissioner inside of the SEC. And so she was basically saying that she thinks that the SEC is not going to get the outcome they want, which the outcome they want is to, obviously, for the ruling to go their way, and for you know to be ruled as a, as a security and things of that nature. So, what do you think? Drop in the comments below. This is an interesting thing. It's kind of an unusual scenario playing out here. We'd love to hear from you. As always, thanks for giving me a few minutes of your time. I'll see you.